This is my grandfather, um, Sir Geoffrey. We're not quite sure where this was taken. I know when he came to Wuhan, mm -hmm. they visited the university. My name is Simon Howard. I'm an entrepreneur from the UK. Uh, I live just outside Cambridge, although my second home is here in Wuhan, in China. I knew my grandparents had been to China. But what was shocking to me, and embarrassing, I have to say, is that after I'd been uh, to Wuhan a couple of times, I mentioned this to my father, and he said, oh, we should look at the diaries. Look at the old diaries that your grandmother wrote and uh, when your grandfather and grandmother came here. And when we were reading those diaries, it became clear that we should have remembered that there were two further generations. So all in all, it turns out there's six generations. When I brought my son, to China, he was the sixth generation to engage with, with China. It's an amazing uh, lifetime, or many lifetimes, of uh, connection. So my great-great-grandfather set up a business trading silk and engaged with China, and he decided that he should send his eldest son to China for two years of work experience. Um, now this was the one thing that I didn't know. When I sent my son here for two years of work experience, I didn't realize that 125 years before that, my great-great-grandfather had done the same. Now, if you, if you know about the One Belt, One Road uh, initiative, you'll know that the UK is the destination of that, of that belt. We are the point that you get to if you continue down there. But, you know, for me, it's quite interesting to see because from my family's point of view, they were involved in the original uh, road with the Silk Road. So they were involved trading between Jiangsu and Manchester uh, in the road. So it's another echo for me. To me, there's a very, very important message here, which is that every country, if they work at it, gets a chance to lead the world on the global stage at some point and it moves between countries slowly over the decades and Britain has had a great turn to do that with the Industrial Revolution and the times that we've had. But the absolute uh, position now is I believe it's China's turn to take that lead on the world stage. Thank you.